This video walks you through how a student can join your pop quiz or your poll quiz if you're using the My View Board Whiteboard app. And it's really simple to use. Over here on the right hand side, I have a teacher view set up and I have a question ready. And I'm going to show you how you can use a pop quiz. But over here on the left hand side, you can see the student view. And I'm going to show you what the student will do to join your session. So the student will just type in My View Board. Com, and they have to use the name of your view board, which mine right here is Jerry Broyles. So they will put a slash in there after myviewboard.com and type in the name of the actual whiteboard. And now they'll say, welcome to Jerry Broyles' whiteboard portal. They will type in their name. So I'm going to use my son's name. He is a student. Now click confirm. And here are the actual icons that they can use to join the whiteboard. So over here on the teacher side, I'm going to go ahead and start this as a teacher. We're going to use the pop quiz feature. And I'm going to resize this so you can see it a little bit better on your screen. And so I want, as a student, I'm going to come back over here as Harrison. I'm going to click on pop quiz. I'll move this over here. And this works similarly on a Chromebook or on a phone. It's very simple to use. They have choices where they have a pen to answer. They can use text. They have an eraser. They, use a, they have an undo button and a redo button. And if they want to just start over, they can use the delete. Now, when they are finished and ready to respond and submit their uh, pop quiz response, they can just click the paper airplane to send it. So. The question was, who is our first US president? The answer, of course, is Washington. So they can use the pen to draw a D. And then they can hit the send button and it sends it. Now notice on the student side, they get a message that the message has been sent, submitted. And over here on the teacher end, they can see that the student has also submitted an answer and can click on that submission to see what it is. The answer is D, very good, fantastic. Now let's talk about a few other question types that we have. I wanna move this out of the way just a second and I'm going to advance my whiteboard app to the next slide. And I wanna scroll that back over here so you can see that in your screen again. So now we have a new question, which one doesn't belong? So let's say that we want to erase this answer. We can just hit delete. And let's say that we want to actually put in a number, but without drawing it though. So we can use the text feature and just click right inside here. And I believe that 43 is the number that doesn't belong. So I can click on the airplane to send it. And we have success. So we press okay. And now we can go right over here and we can click on the answer. And notice how small it is. It is too small for me to see that. So what I can do is I can do a right click of my mouse and that opens it up full screen. And so now I can see that it's 43. Okay, and I can close that back up. All right, and let's go to the next question. Let me open that up again. You know, this time we're going to do the pop quiz again. And let me close that out. And I want to go back here and I want to erase that and delete it. And so let's go to the next question. So that's really in the way. And I apologize for that. But we're just going to go to the next screen. It's a little crowded in here. We're showing you both screens. So here we go. We'll bring that back in here. The question now says draw an object that rhymes with man. So I am thinking of like a maybe a frying pan, something like that. So I can go up here to the draw tool. There, there's a couple ways I can do this, but if it says to draw an object, I think they're just gonna have some fun with this. So I'm gonna draw a frying pan. I'll put a little handle on there. And up here, they use artificial intelligence to try to figure out what you're drawing. And it looks like they have a frying pan right there. So I could either keep my drawing here or I can choose that as a clip art piece and just to substitute it. Now I can send that. 
and it's been sent. I go over here to see what it is as a feature, what the answer is. And there we have a frying pan. So that is just a fun thing that you can do with the kids. Um, it would be great for our elementary kids for sure. And maybe even our upper you know, middle school and high school kids. Now I'm gonna close that out for now. And I'm going to close this. Actually, I'm gonna keep that open right there. I'll just move it up a little bit. And now we'll do a poll quiz and see what that looks like. So I'm gonna click on the poll quiz feature. And I already have some questions in here. So I'm gonna start that timer in just a second. Um, but I'm going to go back here and close this out. And I'm gonna to go to myviewboard.com again and type in Jerry Broyles, because that's the name of the one, my view board that we're using. And type in Harrison's name. And we're gonna do the poll quiz this time, so I'm gonna click on it. Now it's waiting for a question, so I'm gonna go over here to the play button and start the question. And now I can see as a teacher what the question is, what the answer choice is here, and the students are gonna see this. This is how do you like to learn? And they have three choices. Um, they also see the timer, so they know how much time they have. So I can say something like in a small group, and then I can click Submit. And now as a teacher, I know that there's only one person who's actually going to respond to this. So I can wait the timer out, or I can just go ahead and end the poll by clicking on Stop. And now I can go right here and click on Show Results and I can see what the results are of the poll. And now it looks like the student over here is waiting for the next question. And that is how you progress by using the pop quiz and the poll quiz questions that you have inside my view board with the whiteboard feature. All right, hope that helps. If you have questions, you know where to find us.